Please sit yourself. How is Adekunle still in that big brother house and MS is out? Okay, guys, before I dive right into the video, let me just welcome you all. Hey, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alima. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to this channel. Immediately, I heard Adekunle was saved. I knew that something was already wrong. At that time, I knew somebody's slot had been taken. I knew it, but I didn't just know who he was. Well, looking at it, Adekunle and Hermes, they are like two strong people. And in my head, I always thought that Hermes was stronger than Adekunle. Like, I would never have thought that Adekunle would have survived tonight's eviction. It was like my, my jaw was literally on the floor. Like, I couldn't stop screaming. I'm sure my neighbors tomorrow morning, they would kind of ask me, Alima, were you okay yesterday night? Because you were just screaming back to back. This year's Big Brother has taught us that Big Brother is nobody's mate. Anything can happen. You predict at your own risk because what is this? What is tonight's eviction? Like, tell me, why is MS at home right now and Adekunle is still in that house? I don't know if you all watched the Irish session earlier this evening and Big Brother was kind of asking them who do they think would leave the show tonight apart from you know seeing themselves living and every other person said adekunle i'm sure they, they are saying adekunle for a reason and i'm saying i'm actually saying that also i figured adekunle out from i can't really remember the week but i don't know i just could not connect with him i felt like he was too he was too full of himself. I felt like he reads the game too much. He reads meaning into everything too much. And he's, too, he's very scheming. He's cunning. He would, he would legit have something to say and wouldn't say it directly to the person. But would rather say it to a third party to say it for him. I don't get why he's doing that. And if you all watched their diary session today that was a, the same thing um cheesy was also explaining to biggie that he thinks that adekunle is a very cunning man because obviously you would know that a situation is a certain way but because you would want people in the house to see you in a certain light you would not say the truth just because oh i don't want to be perceived this way i don't want to be perceived that way and if big brother was going to evict somebody on the spot today which i was praying that big brother would do but i don't understand why big brother did not answer that my prayer if big brother was going to evict somebody on the spot today it would have been adekunle because every other person that came into that diary room said adekunle adekunle and for just one reason cunning well Tonight's eviction turned out to be very jaw-dropping because I couldn't, I can't still wrap my head around the fact that Adekule is in, 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 is still in Big Brother's house and Hermes is outside the house. I'm neither Adekule's fan nor Hermes's fan, but then I just felt like Hermes shot himself in the leg when he had the chance to send Adekule home. That was, I think, week, maybe week seven or so that Adekule was up for eviction if he had point he was up. Um, MS did not save him. He would, he wouldn't have robbed MS of his spots at the final because that is how I see it. I feel like because of that save and replace, because of the save and replace MS did at that time, Adekule has robbed MS of his chance at the finale. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Oh, what do you guys think? Let it not be like as if I'm the only one that is thinking this way because how can you see? somebody as competitive as adekunle and you are saving the person nobody is really your friend in this big brother ninja house nobody is your friend if you see anybody as a contender then take it that the person is your no the person is contending with you okay let's for example look at adekunle and dotu they're supposed to be bodies right adekunle legit nominated dotu and dotu is out is out of the game just because of daniela can you just imagine somebody you call your body body and you nominate the person the person is out of the game i feel that a lot of them 
are playing the game with their hearts and i know that it is actually not easy to play the game straight up ahead with your head sometimes emotions come in and all of that and hermes's emotions have rocked him of his chance <laughs> at the finale what do you guys think this is i don't know if that this all this is just in my head or this is how it is what do you guys think do you guys think um I know a lot of people would say that everybody is deserving of a place at the final. But then again, if Hermes hadn't saved Adekunle that day, would he have been saved by his fans? Because I know for sure that Adekunle does not have as much fans as Hermes. So, I don't know where this voting is coming from. Fina fans, if you all voted for Adekunle, I don't know what you all are thinking about. Because this finale is about to get bloody. Hey! We have Brian, we have Fina, we have Bella. I won't even count Adekule as a strong contender, to be honest, because now everybody is actually going to be facing who they are voting for squarely. No splitting of votes, no sharing of votes. Everybody is going to face their pods squarely. So Adekule is not even a contender right now. Chichi, like you guys said, she's a child of grace. She has found herself in the finale. She's not even a contender to start with. Daniela, mm -mm. the only three contenders in this game as of this moment is the Afina, um, Emma. No, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. See, the way I have predict predicted this show from the beginning, yeah, I saw MS at the finale, I saw Fina at the finale, um, finale. I saw, um, I saw Bella at the finale, I also saw Brian. The only person I didn't see, the only people I didn't see at the finale, uh. Adekunle, I didn't see Adekunle at the finale. I didn't see Chichi. I didn't see Daniela. Like it's just so shocking at how you would, you know. I feel like this is Biggie's way of just, you know, scattering everybody's prediction. Big Brother is trying to make the show very unpredictable. Look at us. Even from day one, from day one, we already know those that are going to be strong in the house. We already know those that are going to make it up to the final so it's just so interesting how big brother is bringing all these twists and turns so as to take people's mind off predicting the game and big brother has really succeeded to be honest if chichi did not win h2h we would not be here having the conversation of hermes being out of the game you all want my faith to be out is out and i know it's said for greater things what do you guys think what do you guys think of hermes being out of the game do you think it was fair do you think it was finna's fans that voted for adekule because in my head adekule doesn't have as much fans as ms does let me know down in the comment section what you guys think and i'm going to see you all in my next video bye guys